wanted to make a quick video describing how I'm using Google Classroom with my students and how I'm building them. So uh, here it is. Uh, the first thing that I do is I build a presentation um, that explains what students are going to be doing, right? And I build the entire presentation essentially, right? The next thing that I do is I set up an assignment in Google Classroom. All right, and I usually have a couple of different Google Classroom tabs open at the same time, and then I execute them all at the same time. All right, so the first thing that I do is I set up a turn in document, right? Something that they have to turn in. In this, I usually hit create and then a Google Doc, and what that does is creates a Google Doc for me. And this is the Google Doc that students are going to be filling out. All right, so if I go here, I can hit make a copy for each student. And I've already filled out what that Google Doc is going to look like for the students. So I pretty much made it into a worksheet that the students need to answer. And I tell them what to do each step of the way. All right. The other thing that I do is I make everything for the day into one topic. All right. This is a new topic. All right. So pretty much all I did was I hit no topic. I created a topic and I wrote in number eight, three slash 18 slash 20 Ghana and Molly. In my lesson, I have uh, an opportunity for students to have slight discussions, minor discussions, all right? How do they do that? Well, I build a question inside of Google Classroom, right? It's just a type of assignment. So when you build an assignment in Google Classroom, you could choose question. I put the question up here. And the cool thing about questions is that students can see other students' responses after they answer the question which is pretty great. And you can allow students to reply to each other and you can also allow students to edit their answer as well. Again, here what I did is I just put create topic and then I just put in the same exact topic. That's the key thing here so that everything appears under the same, all right? The other thing that I gotta do is um, I have other questions so I also have to do that. I have to make sure it's all under the same topic. All right, I have to decide whether or not I wanna allow students to edit their answers, in this case I do. Another really important thing is I want to also make sure that they understand that I'm in the right classes. So I have all my social studies classes selected. I also have to make sure they have the right due date, which is today. I want it to get done today. All right. Um, usually for uh, points, I leave it ungraded and then I grade this whole thing. And then if I'm grading how they're going to uh, whether or not they responded to each other, I actually have them write down the person of the name that they responded to. So that way it's easier to do all that grading. So, uh, Usually I do ungraded. I need to do all my classes here. All right, and then no due date. That's gonna to be today's the due date. All right, and then all my classes here. No due date, today is the due date. All right, there's really one thing missing. I forgot to put in the presentation here. And it's the one that's called number eight, Ghana and Molly. Awesome. So now um, I need to double check everything because it's really important because if not, I have to go into all five of my classes and fix everything. So um, I've got my presentation. I've got the copy for the students to make um, and it's making a copy for each thing. It has the right topic. The due date is today. The grading is set up and um, for my five classes, I have the title here. Cool. Um, this is the student version. It looks pretty complete. Looks pretty good. Alrighty, today's a long day for the students. After that, um, I'm gonna check here, today, all right. I'm gonna check here, today, points is gonna be ungraded. I gotta make sure I get all my classes here. No due date, due date is today, the 18th. All right, and I'm all set up now. So now when I finally post all this stuff, I can just hit ask, and I can just go through all my tabs that I have this open. Right? And then I'm going to go to the student side so you can see what the student side looks like. So once this loads, it's still doing all this stuff. All right, so one of them's already created. Another one's already created. It looks like they're all almost created now. This one usually takes the longest because it's making a copy for each, each student. So once it's all created, I should be able to go into as a student. And if I go to classwork, it looks like this. Here's all of today's classwork in one nice, neat little bundle. 
So students don't question, where do I go? What do I need? It's all here, right? All in one place. So the students know now that they have to complete the document that has their name on it, all right? Key thing. Cool, I hope this helped and uh, please let me know if you have any questions or comments, thanks.